Get ready, because we have another at-home edition of Roll the Fortnite for you. I'm your host, Sarah Pretty Facelin, and we have a great show for you today. We have five secrets you may have missed in the Season 7 update in the rotation. Point of Interest takes a look at everything we know about the IO so far, and of course, we have everything the community is passing around in low ground. Let's talk about some big additions to Fortnite for just a second. Your favorite alcoholic scientist, Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty is coming to the game, as well as some other no-name icon, I don't know, Superman maybe is his name? Also coming this season is more customization. There's a new alien character named Chimera who is customizable through collectible alien artifacts. How cool is that? With this new alien theme taking over Fortnite, who knows what other surprises might pop up. All right, next up, the rotation is looking at Season 7 Secrets. <laughs> Fortnite Season 7 is looking to be one of the game's best seasons yet. UFOs have landed, the IO has set up research sites on the island, Dr. Sloan has revealed herself, two major characters have gone missing, and we're gearing up for an epic war against the aliens. Like always, the update brought more lore secrets than the trailers reveal, and today we'll be taking you through five of the biggest secrets in the Season 7 update. At number five, we have the manhunt for Jonesy. Agent Jonesy was last seen working with the Foundation to stabilize the Zero Point, but he has mysteriously disappeared since then. This season, the IO has appeared on the island to counter the alien invasion. They aren't being sneaky like they used to be, and Jonesy isn't on good terms with them. A promotional teaser released by Epic Games on Twitter shows us how the IO has started a hunt for Jonesy. The organization has started printing photos of him on milk cartons with the word missing. Considering the IO is every everywhere on the island, they should have found him pretty quickly, but there hasn't been an update yet. It is very likely that Jonesy has managed to somehow escape the loop, and keep this in mind because this connects with another point on our list. At number 4, we have the Spire Shards. The giant structure from the middle of the map exploded when the spaceship arrived, sending its shards flying all over the place. Season 6 has told us how the Spire has intentions of its own and attracts people seeking power to exploit their weakness. We also saw how the Spire is linked to Kevin the Cube, with the corrupted mage Raz carrying an amulet containing a shard of the cube. The center of the map is now just a big puddle of water, with what looks like yet another color change to the grass around it. But look carefully. There are new species of plants that have risen out of the land, clearly influenced by the Spire's shards, looking at their color. You cannot harvest material from these shards, but if you're around them, you can hear an eerie humming sound. The Spire might not be in one piece anymore, but it's still alive and breathing, and its power has already started influencing the island. Number three on our list is an update on the foundation. The poor guy was trapped in this giant evil pillar in the middle of the map for an entire season just to prevent the zero point from exploding when the aliens came in and zapped the entire pillar and sent him crashing into the water. We don't know what happened to the zero point yet because that thing exploding would have caused significant changes around the island. Going off of the mention of a sacrifice in the foundation's skin description, everyone assumed that he had died. However, Reddit pointed out that if you slow down the trailer, you can see his visor lighting up at the last moment. There's a very good chance that he is still alive and will be available as an outfit in one of the next seasons. After all, he is the glue that holds the seven together. At number two, we have an update on Batman's shed. In the crossover comics, Batman escapes the loop by noting down his observations through iterations of the loop and studying the nature of the storm. His hideout on the island was a shed near Slurpee Swamp, where he would note everything down for him to recollect later. As we know from the fourth issue, Batman has successfully escaped the loop. If you check the shed in game now, the update completely emptied it. All of Batman's research material and belongings are gone, finally confirming that he is in the same timeline as ours. This is important not only to establish continuity, but also for being a possible way for Jonesy to escape. There's a good chance Agent Jones will appear in one of the future Batman comics. You heard it here first, folks. 
Number one on our list is the underground UFO. For a few seasons in the season seven trailer, you can see that one of the spaceships, a much bigger one than the ones we can use, has either crash landed or been found buried underground. One of the IO computers in their research laboratories reveals the location of one such UFO. If you look at its location on the map on the computer, it coincides perfectly with an upside down steamy stacks, AKA Cavolution energy. It's all going back to the cube energy, isn't it? Right from that shot of the purple water in the chapter two trailer to the glyphs on Raz's body and the UFO being hidden right under a power plant that harnesses the cube's energy. The link between these events isn't clear yet, but something big is coming up. Before we get into that, welcome to another edition of Playing with Pooks. Uh, season seven is here, and as you can see from the trailer, it's going to be a crazy season. I'm actually going to do something that I never do and try my hand at a few solo matches. That's a big ship. How do I get that one? Let's go down to this gray zone. Oh, of course there's somebody landing here. Okay, and it looks like Io is here too. Oh god. Oh god. This thing. There's a phone ringing. Um, what is happening? Um, team. Um, he just. How do these things have? Ah! What happens if I... Nope. Not today. Stop trying to beam me up! He's following me. There's also still a guy up here. This is chaos.
party, man. He couldn't have just let me. Couldn't just let me be. Had to third party. Well. I think today was a success. We learned a lot. We learned that the UFOs don't have that much health. You can kind of easily beat them, but there's just a lot of chaos going on at those POIs that are purple. So if you choose to drop there, I mean, buyer beware, you're going to get what you get there. Uh, gotta still try out some of the new guns. I really do like that one that, that marks everything. I think that one's super neat. The chests and the, and the safe, more testing required. Gonna need to see if it marks other uh, players as well. But uh, I mean, so far so good. Vending machines appear to be back, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna have to play this one out. I'm gonna have to play a little bit this week and then come back next week for our next edition of Playing with Pooks, update everyone on what my progress has been thus far, perhaps purchase, purchase the battle pass, um, and then go from there. So I hope you guys are enjoying this season um, as much as I hope I will enjoy it, and I will see you on the next one. Bye! <laughs>is kind of like a five star restaurant you go there you have a really nice meal you, you feel very very full and just great afterwards your palate is satisfied low ground is is eating leftovers that you forgot about in your fridge that were in there for six days and you smelled them and they smelled okay and then you ate them and it was just your stomach felt a little sick afterwards first up Fazbear Fighter says Epic added bowling to Fortnite.
What a crushing blow. He got absolutely rocked. We're just combining Spielberg movies now. Indiana Jones meets Close Encounters, I guess. You get that reverence? High five. Next, the concept bot gets creative when looking for the win. Full speed ahead, Captain! Men the battleships! Pew pew! Lasers! I've yet to play a game of Fortnite this season, but I can only imagine that is what it's going to be like when I do. Moving on, Spoiled Apple Milk shows that with a little coordination, UFOs can be, possibly, maybe, just a smidge broken. I mean, losing is better than getting probed by an alien. Just saying. Next up, I Only Drop Risky Reels gives us the new trailer for 20th Century Fox we played instead of that horrible flute rendition. <laughs> Such an improvement, in my opinion. And finally, Angelina Tracy answers a question that nobody is asking. What happens when you get into a car as a chair? The answer? Better as expected. I'm sure Angelina will cherish that moment for a long time to come. Moving on, Point of Interest is going to tell you everything we know about the IO so far. Fortnite Season 7 is here, and the IO has finally revealed themselves on the island. The entirety of Chapter 2 has been revolving around this organization and its quest for control over our island, and there's a good chance this chapter will be ending with a massive face-off against the IO. Today, we'll be taking you through everything we know about the IO so far. Back in Season 2, when we had the device event, Midas was trying to control the storm using the power of the Zero Point, the blue orb that is the source of our island's power. He was trying to escape the loop, which is the iteration of the Battle Royale matches that keep happening on our island. Midas almost succeeded in his attempt until reality glitched out and sent us to an office within the IO's headquarters. This was our first introduction to the organization and one of its members, Agent Jonesy. The transition to the office felt like waking up from a dream, giving more more weight to our theories about Fortnite World being a simulation. The IO foiled Midas's plan by turning the storm into a giant wall of water that flooded the island, ruined the agency, and kept us from finding out the secrets of the true nature of our island's reality. We didn't know where they were hiding, and they lay low during Season 4 when Galactus invaded our island. While we foiled his attempt at stealing the power of the Zero Point, the orb was left exposed in the end, leading the IO to take immediate action to prevent anyone from escaping the loop. While we were fighting Galactus in our world, the tremors were being felt in the IO's location. This revealed to us that our worlds were physically connected. The IO immediately sent Agent Jonesy to our island to stabilize the Zero Point with a group of bounty hunters. This is where we got another hint about the IO's location. The Zero Point was above the IO and Jonesy had to travel through it to get to us. Turns out, the IO was sitting right below us in an underground world. The IO guard NPCs would also arrive on our island via underground elevators. In Season 5, the IO secretly established its presence on our island with houses for Jonesy's bounty hunters to stay and secret bases around the island with the IO's logo. In Season 6, the Batman Zero Point crossover comics told us a lot more about the organization. For starters, it was confirmed that the Fortnite Storm is a simulation and that we're being held captive within the loop. Batman and Catwoman found themselves trapped in the loop and were determined to escape it. In the process, they learned a lot more about 
about the island and how it was being externally manipulated. We found out that the IO has various departments responsible for various aspects of their mission, such as the PSYOPs department for manipulating the mental state of a person stuck in the loop. Around this time, Agent Jonesy had used the Zero Point to recruit bounty hunters so many times that the orb had gotten extremely unstable. Dr. Sloan from the IO ordered Jonesy to save himself and escape, but Jonesy couldn't let a reality collapse destroy the island and decided to seek help from the Seven, a sworn enemy of the IO. Here, we also found out about the characters called Jeno and her sisters, who the Foundation is trying to get to. Jonesy promises to help them in exchange for help stabilizing the zero point. In the fourth issue of the Batman Fortnite crossover, we found out how the hatches on the island that we all thought were bunkers lead to the IO's underground base. They can be opened using specific radio frequencies and are the IO's preferred method for interfering with our island. We don't know what happened to Jonesy in season 7 quite yet, but the UFO invasion finally got the IO to come out of hiding and make its present known on our island. In the trailer, we got to see a bunch of members of the IO, such as Rick Sanchez and Spitfire. The IO has now set up several research laboratories and independent bases to investigate these UFOs and have an arsenal of high-tech weapons unlike anything we've ever seen on the island. Moreover, Dr. Sloan has also arrived on the island as an NPC. Things seem to be getting serious as we approach the last act of Chapter 2. Hopefully we get to know more about who leads the IO and who Jeno and the sisters are soon. Can someone call the men in black does anyone have their phone number i'm gonna call it right now we'll see either asian k or j in fortnite this season why because we need them hello that about does it for me but for more of our content check out our youtube and twitter channels at squad state thank you so much for watching and as always here's your victory royale with cheese